the name itself comes from a game called Doom. Yeah. And it's a cheat. We kind of see ourselves as that kind of force that's going to break down whatever walls may be in our way. Bump the beat and bust for free. Touch the things who love the sweet. This drug will squeeze the rest you seek. Blast the speed, drums and keys. Indulge with ease. Hydroponic, ultrasonic. See if your dealers got it. Go ahead and cop it. Now rock to the base. A shock for the brain could knock you insane. Party and rave. Pop when you crave a shot to the vein. All of that abstract euphoria. An addict's utopia, fantastic magic, you know you love, you know you love it. It's such a rush, tripping off the feeling, off the rhythm, in a syringe, lyricism in it, it's like ism in my system. Go! I think in the absence of acceptance from mainstream media, we were supposed to look for alternative avenues. And luckily, the internet just takes the music directly to the people, and the people can choose what they want to do. It's like the Kwaito movement, when that came out, it wasn't on radio. In fact, radio stations were trying to block it, you know, don't play that, <laughs> right? And then the kids got into it. And all of a sudden, every kid on every street corner in every township was listening to, to, to Kwaito music. Now, the radio execs are like, oh, okay, let's play that. It really contributed to the artists that we are now. Yeah. You know, it helped shape who we wanted we to are. be mm. yeah. or what we didn't want to do, mm. you know, because of that kind of environment during that golden era of hip hop in Durban, mm. you know. I, I wouldn't call that era amateurish, but it, there was something sort of naive, but at the same time beautiful about, about it. Yeah. Like I met Keith around 2000, 2003, mm. and he was one of the MCs that were upper echelon, you know, and the, the guys that I looked up to, you know. So when he scooped me up, he was like, yo, let's form a group. Mm. Ten years later, after the golden era. <laughs> <laughs> Living in Joburg is actually quite exciting because there's a new generation of self-starters, progressive thinkers, creatives, and all this stuff. So it's really inspiring to, to be around in that particular space where all these kids are owning their identities and we are just finding our own place within that environment, you know? The kids that are going to be doing really interesting things are the ones that, that will be really, really successful and maybe building other industries that we never knew about. With what Malum Kulkat is doing or what Spook, Spook Matambo is doing, whoever gets there first is opening a door for all the other dudes who are owning their arts and really doing something original. So that in turn inspires us to actually be like, hey, I could be myself and do what I want to do.